hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is alicia and today um, i have another hair tutorial for you guys we're going to be jumping straight in as you can see here my hair is already blow dry i went ahead and did that the night before and i put these four braids in just to keep it stretched overnight because i knew i wanted to style my hair the next morning um, i already have a blow dry tutorial on my channel if that's something you're interested in i'll go ahead and link it down in the description box below as well that video will show all the products and stuff like that that I use and a type of blow dryer um, this is my hair after I went ahead and took the braids out it actually came out pretty cute um, if it wasn't so hot outside I would have worn that probably it's just like a fluffy braid out but anywho we're gonna just continue on I'm fixing up my part because I'm doing um, two braided pigtails so you just want to clean that up using like a rat tail comb whatever it's like whatever you have around this is what i have and then after i get it like pretty much how i want it we're gonna go ahead and add like some edge control down the part and that's just gonna make it look like clean and crisp like if you were getting your hair done by a braider and i'm using the mia organics honey honey and ginger styling gel You want to make sure you apply a generous amount and just like smooth it in. Going through changes, just so mad, but now it's at my own expense. So I'm a child. Tweeted and deleted, knowing you were redid. Before we get too far away, I need to clear my mind. I'd rather just tweet it and delete it. Before we cross the line and we reach a point we can't be. Okay, so this is what the back of my head is looking like. That's pretty much as straight as I could get it, which is pretty much good enough for me. Now you're just going to want to make sure that you have two thick rubber bands on hand, something that's not going to cause any breakage, but you want them to be thick enough um, for the thickness of your hair. And so you can get your ponytails like tight as possible without causing any um, tension or pain on your scalp. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush with a soft bristle brush to get it as smooth as possible. And I'm going to position my ponytails pretty low, but you don't have to do that. Do whatever, you know, works for you. All right, now on to step two, we're gonna go ahead and take our braiding hair. I just got this Bobby Boss three pack from my beauty, beauty supply store. You can use, you know, whatever color length you want. I just chose this one and we're gonna go ahead, take it out the pack. And the way that these are separated, it comes with a rubber band. I chose a pack specifically with a black rubber band attached so that it could um, blend in with my hair versus like the clear type of one. You can see I'm just showing you guys and I'm literally just using that rubber band and putting it underneath my ponytail. And I tried to wrap it twice. I had to kind of get the hang of it. This is literally the first time I added any type of hair. Like for a hairstyle, I'm not like a braider or anything like that. So yeah. And now I'm literally just taking three sections, trying to get them as even as possible. Again, this took me a couple tries to, because some of the times I tried it, like the hair was like, one part was way thicker than the other so just keep at it and i'm literally just taking it and braiding it straight down as if i'm braiding my own hair and the way that i just attached the ponytail like made this process so easy i don't know how to do feed ins or anything like that so this is super beginner friendly which is why i decided to do it like this 
and when you get to the end like so that your hair isn't sticking out of the hair like if it's not if it's thick like mine if that makes sense if you have thick hair like me and you're natural the hair that i have doesn't completely it's not as straight as the braiding hair so i just try to tuck my hair underneath the braiding hair to like make it blend as much as i could and as you can see like it looks pretty good to me and i'm just like pulling so that the transition is a little bit more seamless and <laughs> i'm looking real confused because like i said this took me a couple tries but it looks good enough for me and it's so simple so easy like i like the clean look of this so yeah this is what it looks like from the back let me know you know like what you guys think and if you think i could have done anything differently um, i'm open to all comments down below so now i'm just going on to the next side i don't know why but i feel like i had more trouble out of this one than the other one every time that i'm doing like two buns two braid hairstyles like this or something or like i said i've never done this in particular but it's always one side that doesn't want to come out the same as the other one but we got it together in the end i just skipped the adding the ponytail because i already showed you guys that and again just taking another piece of our braiding hair and repeating that process for a second time the way it's been so we are pretty much done at this point i went ahead and put a scarf around my edges just to like mold it in place for a little bit and i also went ahead and trimmed the ends my sister told me that I was given very much paintbrush but i don't know i actually liked it so let me guys know what you think down in the comments below All right, so I took my scarf off and I had somewhere to go and now I'm back. And this is the finished result. I think that is really cute. This is a super cute and easy summer protective style. My hair is tucked away. I did my little edges and we are good to go. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.